Okay, hopefully you can see this uh, okay because it's a long kind of keyboard and I normally film smaller things so my setup means I have to pull the camera quite far away and I've got a fixed lens and but anyway hopefully you can see it well enough. If you can't see the keys very clearly or the colours I will bring the camera closer to just a portion of the keyboard so you can see it closer up the keys so don't worry if you can't see some of the details and that on it clearly at the moment I will show it closer up. Now first I'm going to tell you about it, what what you get included in the package and then I will tell you a bit about what you can and can't do with it and the quality of it and the comfort and after I've given you all the details I will show you a bit closer up then I'll give you the price and if I recommend, recommend it or not. Okay, so I have reviewed many, 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 many products either made or sold by this company before, Easy SMX. Really good what to work with, great company. Now, uh, they don't always make products. Sometimes they just sell other smartphones, things like that. But occasionally they do do, well, they're in quite a lot, they do do their own products, like gaming mice, gaming keyboards, various things like that. And this is one of their own. It's even branded in the top right corner. I'm not sure if you can see it at the moment, but you'll see it closer up in just a sec. It is branded Easy SMX. And this isn't just a standard cheap keyboard. It is a mechanical gaming keyboard. And it is backlit, as I'm sure you can quite t uh, easily tell there. It is multicolored and backlit. If you get just a bog standard, just cheap keyboard to make do with they don't tend to have their keys lit up let alone multicolored, colored which can make them hard to see in low light conditions or in the dark so i love keyboards that are backlit even if it's not with colors it's backlit at least white so you can see in low light because i'm often typing in low light conditions and this is a nice metal mechanical keyboard the area where uh surrounding the keys does feel metal whereas the rest is a hard like plastic but it is still comfortable it's not rubbery feeling but it still is comfortable uh wrist rest down there and the wrist rest is detachable if you don't like those don't worry when it comes to you in the package the rest is off you need then if you want it you can easily click it in so that is quite handy that you're not forced to use it. If you don't like it, you can leave it off. If you want it, you can put it on. I think that's a good idea. It is a USB keyboard, as most are these days. So what type of mechanical keys does it use? You know, you can get various types, and some are better for different purposes. Well, do you, you know, is it a rose switches you know is it blue switches you know what cut type of switches it is actually blue switches with 105 keys now bear in mind if i sound a bit funny if i sound a bit stuffed up I, i'm just getting over a bit of an illness and my nose is a bit bunged it is a quirky keyboard but you can get it in other languages this is for the uk you can get it in other uh, for other countries like German. Uh, you can get a German one and various things like that. So don't worry if you are watching this from another country. It may have your version. So if you're in the US, look this keyboard up on the U US Amazon and things like that because there are various versions, not just a UK one. Okay, it is a full size quirky layout with seventeen point five inches from uh, form factor. The switches are rated for 50 million uh, presses to withstand a harsh environment and give you a good long lifespan. So it's a pretty good rating of up to uh, 50 million presses. So it, that, that doesn't mean it won't last longer. It could last you even longer. That is just how long it's rated and tested for. Uh, for. You might get a little less time out of it. You may get a little bit more. And one of the things I like about this key keyboard is a nice little attention to detail, which not all have this. You know how sometimes you get keys and they, uh, they the writing, you know, like enter, backspace, O, P, you know, things like that. They, they wear off very, very, very quickly, especially if you've got oily skin or you waste something on it. The letters and numbers and words will fade quickly. Not so with this because it has 
They are laser inscribed keys designed to be durable. They are absorption resistant, which means they even can withstand fluids. So these these symbols and numbers, etc., and what you know, they are going to last a long time, maybe even never wear out. They are laser inscribed. And that is so good because I've had so many keyboards in the past where the text wears off so quickly and it's frustrating because the whole thing may work besides that. The keys may work fine and everything, but the letters peel off or rub off and things like that really quick. You're not going to have that with this. This is a really, really well thought out, good quality keyboard at an affordable price. It has anti-ghosting, which allows you to press loads of keys very quickly and simultaneously without any problems if you're gaming you're not going to be pressing too many keys all at once and have an issue like you might with some lesser keyboards it does have an anti-ghosting feature okay the palm rest is somewhat adjustable you can tilt it a bit you can also uh there has legs on the bottom of the keyboard to help prop it up or you if you don't like that you can lower the legs so you can adjust it to the angle that's most comfortable for you. You can adjust the palm rest and the feet on the bottom. Or if you don't want to, you can take the palm rest off or leave it off. And the feet, if you don't want them up, you don't have to have them up. You can always put them down and have the keyboard flat to the surface. The palm rest, like I say, if you just touch it, it does feel like hard plastic. But it is actually soft under your wrist and it doesn't hurt. It's, it's pain free. It's comfortable, even though you might think it uh, wouldn't be. It has uh, quite a few function keys up there. It has all 12, because some keyboards might have uh, less. It might only have F10, or, or it might have F11, but not F12. This is a full F1 to 12, uh, which allows for various functions. They are known as function keys, in case you don't know, but you probably do. They are function keys that allow you for quick access to things like volume, you know, up and down if you want. You can adjust them for that, or you can adjust them to open things like web browsers and various things like that. There's various uses for the function keys and there is a full set of 12 there. You also have your other keys such as print screen there, pause, page down, page up, home and delete. Um, interestingly, you might think this would just be stuck to solid lights. You can actually have it breathing, which is kind of like a slow pulsate. So you can have the backlight animated if you will you know just pulsating it off and on you know in a kind of almost a breathing kind of effect or you can have it solid like it is now i quite like pulsating but then again i end up usually getting a bit bored and having things on solid anyway so it's good that they don't trap you with it pulsating because i think you get fed up with that but i like that you can if you're in the mood you can switch you know depending upon how you feel the key actuation force, I hope I pronounced that right, is about 60 grams. The Windows key, the Wing key, can be disabled. The keyboard size is 44.7 by 21 by 3.9 centimeters. It, now, what does it work with? Does it work with just Windows? Does it work with Mac? It does work with Mac, even though you can clearly see this is intended primarily to be a windows gaming keyboard because it has a windows key and an alt key and control key instead of your command keys and things like that on mac it does work on mac if you want to but not the function keys apparently um <clears throat> yeah i'm not sure why but for some reason the fun the multimedia uh, the multimedia keys do not work but everything else will work if you want to use it on mac this is prim primarily for Windows XP and newer. What comes in the box? You get a cap key puller, which is basically just a little piece of metal. It helps you pry up the keys if you want to clean clean underneath, which is quite handy. It comes with a user manual. Uh, the palm rest separate, although I, I have it attached here, and the uh, keyboard itself. And it is, of course, as I'm sure you've already guessed, plug and play USB so you just plug the USB in and start or if you want to turn the lights off or switch to pulsating and solid and things like that you can turn them off uh, or switch between the modes for the backlighting that is function which is the FN key plus the home key plus the SCRLK I'm not sure what that means but that is the key to the left of the pause button near the top there so FN home 
and then the screen whatever button next to the pause button you press those three uh, at the same time to cycle through the backlighting modes well, can you change the color scheme you know like say you have here caps lock and that row like A, S, D, F, G, they are green. Well, can you make those red and maybe the ones underneath blue instead of yellow and change what color colors go where? No, unfortunately, you can't with this. But then again, it is a slightly more budget affordable keyboard. This isn't one of those super expensive £100 or £150 gaming keyboards. This is a what I would consider still more in the budget range, yet a very high quality gaming keyboard which is really excellent because it's not just say oh for the uh, for this price you get a mechanical one like I'm sure you can perhaps even get some slightly cheaper ones at mechanical it's not just that it's high quality build it has backlighting that you can switch uh, on and off it does have laser inscribed keys that shouldn't wear out you know the tech shouldn't wear out and it has a detachable palm rest and excellent quality and anti-ghosting for a decent price so the only thing really lacking in this is the ability to customize the colors but i don't really feel personally that is a big deal now here briefly i'm going to quickly just tell you a difference between a few of the mechanical key types uh blue these blue switches give you a tactile bump as well as an audio audible click <clears throat> which means you can feel the press and you can hear the press click and you can feel it as you press it, which I actually quite like. I quite like being able to at least feel it even if you don't hear it. <clears throat> it helps give you a bit of a feedback that you have hit the key correctly because some of these flat keys that might look all fancy and be quite ultra modern and stuff like that, you if you, you can't feel it and you can't uh, hear it, you're not always sure if you've accidentally not hit it hard enough or you've accidentally not pressed it or something like that. So I really like to have either a feeling of a key being pressed or audible feedback to know that I have actually definitely hit the key as I have intended. So this has both a bump and a audible click. Now, brown switches have a bump but no sound, which is still okay because with brown, you don't they're not noisy yet, you can still feel them. And then black switches uh have no sound and no bump, which uh, a lot of people perhaps like that, but I like to have and perhaps not noise isn't necessary for me because it does just make noise, but I at least like to have a bump to know that I have definitely not accidentally mistyped something or not accidentally, you know, uh not hit it hard enough and things like that so with blue uh, I recommend either blue or brown personally because with brown you don't get sound but you do get bump with this you get both a bump and a click so if you really 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 hate clicks this might not be for you because it uses blue switches now if you like a click sound this will be exactly what you want whereas the other two t uh, main types you won't uh, like because there's no click so bear that in mind with these blue there is a feeling of a press and a click with brown there is a feeling of a click but no sound and black has neither sound nor bump there is also i should actually note quickly a red switch they are i i believe i'm not expert to be honest on different mechanical switches but i believe those are a very popular type because they are very very fast very responsive uh but those bear in mind you usually I think have to pay more money for quite a bit more money for plus if you like either a bump or a audible click they like the black keys have neither click nor bump okay so that is the main differences there some have bump feeling some have sound and some are faster than others but still this is a blue mechanical switch, which maybe some would prefer, some people would prefer the faster red and stuff, but you're not likely to get a good, really good red switch at this price. This is, I think, really adequate for the average gamer. A nice blue switches, which also does give you feedback, at least with the bumps, and, uh, etc. So that is a really, really good keyboard. And I'm just going to give you a closer look before we finish up. Hopefully you can see this, it's a bit awkward my setup here, but up the top here you have 
some lights that aren't on at the moment. Let me just press something. There, as you see, one of the lights came on because that is the light to show you that cap lock, uh, caps lock key is on, which is good because some keyboards don't have any light to indicate that caps lock is on, and I hate that. Well, this does. And there's a couple other lights up there as well for things. Now, that also has the logo up there. Now, to the left, right in the center, I'm not sure if there's too much glare and things like that on it, but there's a little kind of rectangular logo uh, for it with like a animal's, speedy animal's head. Now in the top left and the top right corners, there is a little kind of a brushed aluminium kind of screws, uh, which makes it look quite nice. I like that effect. Now let's just look down a bit further at the palm rest briefly. I'm not sure how well this is in focus. Now this has uh, kind of a grainy effect, even though it's a uh, black sort of plastic, it has a bit of a grainy effect. And also there is a etched on pattern here that looks very sort of Tron and futuristic. It's kind of a liney pattern that you may or may not be able to see on camera. So yeah, overall, this is a, such a stylish keyboard. This bit here, around the keys and up here, all around here, the main keyboard, not the keys, but the main keyboard portion itself is actually metal. You can feel it, it's cold and hard under there. This is kind of, um, I'm not exactly sure what it's made of, but it feels plastic there, but that's to partly be more comfortable whatever it's made out of rather than cold, hard metal. And it just looks so stylish, especially with these little extra details like the little brushed aluminium screws in the couple of the corners and the animal kind of logo in the center and the branding in the side. Then the stylish palm rest, which you, if you don't want a palm rest, if that's too balking, you don't use them and it's in the way, you don't have to put it on. Or if you have put it on, you can take it off again. So, okay, that really comes down now to impressions and what I think of it and the, you know, the price. <clears throat> well, it is a £50 keyboard here in the UK, it's 49 99 and if it's available in the US on the US Amazon store, which I think it is I will put the a the US dollar price on the screen as a text overlay as well It is also available in various other countries like I know for sure there is a German model of this keyboard as well Let me just uh, press some of the keys here a minute so you can hear them Okay, so it's not too noisy, but being blue switches, there is the audible click. And it's like I say, it's £50, which I think is a good price for this keyboard because a lot of mechanical keyboards are 50, 80, 100, 150, depending upon what type of switches they use. So £50 for a mechanical keyboard, even using blue switches, even though it might not be some like the red switches. £50 is a good starting point for a mechanical keyboard even these days and especially when you add in other factors into this that not just are you getting a mechanical keyboard with mechanical switches like that you are also getting laser engraved uh, text and things like that on it so it, the keys the writing on the keys will not wear out it's also a good quality keyboard in general and you are also get an anti-ghosting and a detachable stylish palm rest. I think it is a really, really nice keyboard for £50 and I do really, really highly recommend it. And it's by a brand I've used for a long time and like. So that is the Easy SMX keyboard. I'm not sure of its exact modeling, what they call it, uh, but the model number on the Amazon product page is the S Easy SMX 8176. And I do recommend it. a link will be in the description. If you could like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel, that will help me out a lot. Also, if you're watching this as a review on the Amazon product page, please hit the yes button next to was this review helpful to you? That will help me out a lot. So thanks for watching.